guys, it's Rayella and welcome back to another video. So as you can probably tell by the title, it is another creative sim video, one of my favourites to make. Um, but today we are doing a challenge and this challenge is called the Intended Genetics Challenge. Um, and it was created by my good friend Cora, also known as The Simpanions. So I'll have her channel linked down below. And basically, the uh, what you have to do in this challenge is you have to create two sims. So a male, female, 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 male, male, whatever you want, as long as they can create a child um, and they have to look absolutely beautiful <laughs> and the reason for that is because anytime Cora would randomize or like have kids from two sims she would say they always turn out absolutely awful um, and she didn't know why it was happening so she's made this challenge to hopefully make a beautiful offspring from two beautiful parents so um, yes yeah, so you have to make the two parents look absolutely stunning and that will hopefully mean that the child they have will also be beautiful um, that is the aim of the game in this one. Um, yeah, we're starting off creating the male sim, which has never been done on my channel. Um, even like with personal gameplay, I don't usually make male sims. I would usually just create my female, go into the world and find somebody. It's just, I don't know, it's not like I don't like doing it. I just prefer creating females, so I spend a lot of time on them. Um, but yeah, I'm, look, I feel like I got no custom content from men either. <laughs> yeah, so that's a majority of the reason why is because I don't have any custom content and yeah, you know what? I just don't do it. Maybe I should start, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I just made him super casual, but I did feel like his facial features, he looked really cute and really nice. So hopefully he will create a, a beautiful child, we will see. Um, and then his name is Travis and now we're just moving on quickly to creating his uh, spouse, girlfriend. I don't think I gave him the same surname actually now I think about it so they're maybe just partners for the time being. <laughs> um, so yeah, I also just downloaded all these new skin tones because I realised I thought I had downloaded some and I hadn't. So it's good to have this one because they kind of have like built in like highlight and blush and I think it's really cute. So that's why I like to use it. Um, I didn't have any particular style that I was going for with these two sims, so I just kind of went with it um, based off what was randomised at the time. So yeah, um, she has these big beautiful blue eyes, um, I think it's absolutely stunning, and she's got some really like, her face looks just so smooth, I wish my face looked like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, gotta have those eyelashes and this time you'll be glad to know I didn't actually spend as long as I usually do picking out hair. I mean, just like every video, I go through, I, I'm sure I go through every single hair I have <laughs> I've got and then eventually just pick one. So yeah, you didn't have to sit and look too long this time. Um, the video itself is not too long because I, I did just did an everyday outfit for them because I felt like it wasn't going to matter about the other outfits. They're not really taken into account when making the pretty sim. Pretty sim? I don't know why I said that. When making the child sim is what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, I'll just let you watch the rest of her getting ready and then we will quickly jump in to when we go to randomize. So enjoy. guys welcome back we are now jumping into play with genetics and we will pick her as the spice and we want to make their child obviously but as a teen and a female so this is who we started out with so we will go three times so nine number one let's see who we get wow pretty fierce pretty fierce crazy hair but beautiful fierce features wow she's gorgeous jumping in number two wow again really pretty fierce look at those fiery eyes they're gorgeous and then we've got one final randomized to do let's do it number three Oh, holy heck, she is beautiful. Cora's gonna be so, like, shell-shocked at this because she says all my sims are beautiful. But I'm so glad we've got the best out of the bunch. So now what I'm gonna do is quickly jump into creating her and making her into... I don't know what we're making her into, but see you there. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back and we are now just making her over. I'm still, like, staring at my screen and I'm like, wow. Definitely the best out of the bunch, but I'm still... I couldn't believe, like, she's actually gorgeous. And I, Cora always says that my randomized sims are pretty no matter what, so now that I've done this, I think she's gonna really be impressed or jealous, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, the face on this, her face is just amazing. That's why I, I gave her hair that like, 
pulled back away from her face because I wanted to make sure we can see all of those beautiful features that she's got. Um, again, I didn't go for a particular style, I think I just kept it pretty casual with her. Um, a pair of shorts I believe I stick with. I, can you believe I did this like last night and I already can't remember, it's crazy. <laughs> So yes, we th I just kept her this nice, super casual style, um, so there will be some little clips at the end for you guys, as always. But I hope you like this challenge, please try it out, Cora would be super appreciative and I would also love to see what you get. And if you enjoy what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks guys!